emotional regulation for our anxious cuties is going to look something more like calling a friend, doing the thing that feels really comfortable and safe. And emotionally regulating for our wonderful avoidance is going to look something like going off on their own and doing their own thing. This is all a part of bringing what you need to bring into the relationship and understanding where your partner is coming from so that you can have that open dialogue about it. In this way, these behaviors are no longer taken as an attack. It's taken as a way to really get to know your partner better. Because I don't think the goal here is really to become always more secure. Of course, we're all trying to be a little bit more secure in our attachment style, but sometimes if we work within the realm that we're already at, we might be a little more on the avoidant side or a little more on the anxious side, but really what we're getting to, I think, is fully understanding ourselves and our partner so that we can see this as a way to actually add intimacy because you really know this person, you know what they need and you know what you need. So when I talk about not matching someone else's energy, that's not only because then you won't be your authentic self, it's also because you will miss out on an opportunity to really know and understand your partner and have them know and understand you.